So former Colorado player Xavier Smith blasted Deion Sanders and the program in a recent interview with The Atlantic, and Shador fired back. He said, quote, I don't even remember him, to be honest. Bro had to be very mid at best. NFL team, uh, NFL teams passed on Spencer Rattler for things he said in high school. Do you guys think this kind of behavior could impact Shador's draft stock? Wait, hold on. Who passed on who? <laughs> Sorry? Who passed? Wait, wait, say it again. <laughs> NFL teams passed on Spencer I Rattler. I heard you. No, I heard you. I just want you. I want to hear you say that again. For things that he said in high school. Spencer he, who? Rattler. <laughs> Come on, man. Stop. He's the number one player in high school. So. I almost called you your brother. <laughs> I almost said Vance. Well, do you he, think this kind of behavior could impact Shador Stock? Keyshawn, Spencer Rattler ain't nowhere near the quarterback that Shador is going to wind up being. So I understand the question. It will not hurt his stock at all. Not one bit. I can go, you know, I covered the NFL draft, obviously, for several years as, at ESPN on the big stage with Kuyper in the gang. There was so much information, TJ, that I compiled, Keyshawn, from people out there in their social media. Guys that are currently playing in the National Football League at the same position. Also others that went high in the draft. I'm talking about high. High as you can go. With questionable social media tactics and things in their social media. It didn't drop them. And they have gone on to have successful so far NFL careers. And I'm talking about not talking about somebody's play statistics. I'm talking about egregious things that you would look at and go, oh, shit, he a bad dude. I don't even want to talk to him. That dude got some issues. Now, this is all part of the Dion hate. This is all that is. Mm -hmm. They going to do that. It's a Dion hate. Shadour going to be Shadour. Bottom line, and he'll be one of the top players off the board when his time comes. That was yeah. my next question was, do you guys think he's a top five player for next year's draft? I don't think that's going to affect him. Me personally, I don't like that he said that. Why? Just because you're the quarterback of a t This is what I'm... You can say he's... I don't even remember him. Like, if this... Was it was a kid that said this? Was he on the team the entire season? No, he was or, there. He was, he was there, there before. Spring ball, right? Yeah, yeah. And then oh, he and then, okay, out. I get you not remembering him. So, no, no, I don't have a problem with it. I thought he was on the team last year and, and then just, just transferred. No, yeah, no, but, he, even if, but even if he was? You should know him. But even if he was, how old are you, TJ? 46. You old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This the real, this yeah. is the real, this is what they do. But you know. This is what, you see him over there in the corner? That's what they do. They argue and, on social media. And I get it, though. <laughs> really, Shador That's is defending you. his pops because Buddy took a shot at Prime. But he, like, did, but he did that. And, and so... No, it's not going to affect them. No, it's not going it's, to affect them. It's, it's not but going think, to affect them one bit. But think about it, though, TJ. This day and age, an era in which we're in, this is what they it's do. It's crazy, though, because I say that, and this I for sure would have responded. And it's crazy that I just said what I because I would have. Uh, 100%. <laughs> I, I for sure would have oh, responded. Sure you know responded me, Keyshawn. You know yourself. You know me. I'll cut you to the white meat real slick yeah. and keep it moving. Yeah. I, and have everybody say, damn. Now, so this is what they do. So I don't have a problem with it, nor do I have a problem with Prime defending himself in this situation because you now, as a ex-player, trying to assassinate my character as the coach and how I run my program because I come in, like all coaches come in, and the first thing that they do, I remember Bill Parcells came in in 1997. The Big Tuna came in. We had our team meeting, the whole pretty old thing. Big Tuna walked up. One of the first things came out of his mouth. Is some of you aren't going to be here, but I know I am. Mm. That was one of the first things came out of the coach's mouth. And so, you know me, I'm a smart ass. I know I'm going to be here. I know I'm going to be here, right? <laughs> so, at the I'm end, gonna worry about that, I, huh? I know I'm going to be here, but the message is, if you don't work and you don't do what you're supposed to do, you're going to be gone. See, the problem is... That's all Prime was telling them. Players aren't used to honesty. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah, coach, Keyshawn. <laughs> they not used to a coach being upfront and honest yeah. with them. They always beat around the bush. Prime comes in there. Some of y'all not going to be here. Y'all might want to hit the portal. That's shocking. It's yeah. like, well, because 
A coach isn't going to tell you that. He was upfront and honest to these guys, and you're not used to that. And you're not are, used to that. And they all ran for the portal. He didn't select I mean, he told them. He just told you to Y'all might want to hit the portal because some of y'all not going to play. Yeah. Coaches aren't going to do those type of things. They're not used to that type of uh, just being so forthright. You're like, wow. But I need that. I want that. I would prefer because, that also. Because at the I want to know where I stand. I'm going to go bust my ass and I'm going to do everything I'm supposed to do. Okay? I remember that same conversation that same day. Bill... Afterwards, you know, our coach come up to you after press conference, talk to you. Hey, I want to see you in the office. Yeah, yeah. So I come to the office. He goes, how much you weigh? I said, man, I don't, I'm probably 225 right now. He goes, what was that guy? What did that guy weigh that played at USC? I said, 208, 210. He says, that's the guy I want to see. I came back doing the offseason conditioning. I was 205. So you win automatically with him because you did what you were supposed to do. Right, right. And that's all Prime was saying is, hey, if y'all can't get it with this program, y'all might want to hit, hit get, this portal. If you get better, yeah, you're you, perfect for my program. You got action. But you guys were terrible the year prior to me coming. Yeah. So now, either you got to get better or you got to go because I want to win. That, and and that's, nothing, all, that's basically all he was saying. nothing wrong with that. No, not at all. Because if he doesn't win, he getting fired. We absolutely hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more from us, hit that subscribe button for all videos, full episodes, and exclusive content from the show. And don't forget to find all facts, no breaks, on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.